wouldn't be prom without a promposal, right? That's right. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> she said yes. She said yes. All right. So we got to get this show on the road so you two can get going, right? Yeah. Speedway video viewers get Prime Video free for one month. The only way that you're ever going to win a race is just to be right on the edge of it all the time. Use the link in this video's description to claim yours. Okay, let's run. 72, that's Charles Friddle. The 7 of Aaron Foy. Courtney Breeden in the X. Eddie Evans and Brandon Monroe. Your field is worth green and crashing. Oh, no. And it's Charles Friddle collected with Courtney Breeden. And I just, I, I can't even tell you about the kind of stuff that Charles Friddle has had to deal with already on his second car of the season. 50 laps here for the JNC Great All Modifieds. Race number two of their six-pack series here at the New Smyrna Speedway. JNC Great All Modifieds are underway. Moxley and Parker side by side for the top spot. You can't win it here on lap one, but you sure can lose it. And Wayne Parker will put the hammer down. Look at Lester sideways. Shane held off the pace. Spin and crash in one and two. Brian Gaten has spun the 16. See if they can knock that down and get him back out. Yeah, knocked up pretty good there. Two good buddies on the front row here for this restart. Like I said, if you know, you know. And it's the hammer of Jerry Simon showing the way, but keep her out of the back of the pack. Wayne Parker trying to get back into the mix. No love loss between the front two. It's so early in the race. Oh, look at this move. Lester gives him a shot. Oh, it looks like Lester better through the center of the corner. Or Simon's able to get the horsepower advantage down the straightaways. Oh, there goes Simons up the racetrack, and he cuts right down in front of Lester. He's not going to let him get the bottom. Closing in on the halfway point. Still a two-man race. Simons up the hill. Lester gets the wheel inside, but still hanging on to the top spot is Simons, the veteran modified racer. Lester pretty new to the modifieds, and there it is. He found a hole. Look at this for the lead, and he muscles his way through. Lester sat and waited to pounce, and he finally... Got him off to that time. Jason Lester will get it done, maybe as he comes sideways across the checkers. Here's your winner, Jason Lester in car number 45. You gotta know who you're racing with, and like you mentioned, we have history, but me and him talked, we're good, so we'll see. But thanks for everybody for coming. Didn't give him the room that, that I should have gave him, but it, you know, that was just because, you know, how he treated me uh, before, but he's uh, he, he was good. and. Uh, Appreciate him driving clean like that. I was just sitting in the catbird seat. I didn't know what these two knuckleheads were going to do, so I figured I'd sit back. And it is Ron D'Alessandro away with a race lead in Old Blue. Oh, Moxley gets tangled up with Kurt Hatton. Trying to lap around the slow car. Did a great job to get it rolled up and not go around. Moxley starting to catch the leaders. If these two get to race in Toronto, leaves the outside open and flying around the outside into turn one. New leader, Christopher Hatton. What a power move. This division getting better and better. Moxley. Hooking the bottom around goes Tom Toronto. Oh, in contact, the leaders. The leaders get into it. Oh, no, Moxley catches the right front. The third place car spins out, and then the leaders get hooked up coming to yellow. Well, Ricky's in victory lane, but that is not how he wanted to get there. I can assure you of that. Yeah, he's having trouble getting that car to steer. Heartbreak again for Moxley in the 602 modified feature. D'Alessandro rolling the high side, but he gets too high off the corner. Here comes Hatton back at it. Keep your eye on Tom Toronto in the 11. Two laps to go. Battle on for second behind Christopher Hatton in the 09. Hatton slowed dramatically here on the front straightaway. Looks like it's back up to speed. Oh boy. It's going to come right down to the checkers. Ron D'Alessandro can smell the victory. Hatton's car gonna put 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 and make it to the finish trucks will be up next we're gonna keep the show moving along here levant struggling and truck number 99 lebeau has made it passed up into the fifth spot whoa coon goes around and he's gonna roll it down and not hit anything yellow flag does fly randy coon around and the 21 of Chuck Hires right over the choose zone. We're going to put them back where they're supposed to be, where they were attempting to choose, and that'll be it. That's the one mulligan. So spotters on the spotter stand, if you hear me, let your drivers know, do not run over that orange V on the racetrack, because if it happens again, you will not get your spot back. They're not going to be nice. They're going to have one courtesy mulligan here. Back of Monopoly in the 59, showing the way. Haddock in second. And how about old Dylan LeBeau rolling up into the third spot? 
around the five. Richard Griffiths from the back of the field. Trading paint with the 24 Dalton Smith. They're still together in turns one and two. Side by side for third. Rodney had it continuing to slip slide backwards in Monopoly. Pulling away in the blue 59. Jack Hall a little bit out of shape on the bottom of the racetrack. He's got a problem. Jack Hall in the double zero. He's got a big problem. Down into the grass here on the front straightaway. Yellow flag. I saw a flash underneath. Not sure what that was, but Jack Hall had a similar issue in practice, and he's climbing out. Tough break for Jack Hall. Fire, fire, fire. We need fire truck. Fire, fire underneath the double zero. We got a fire here on the front straightaway. Double zero on fire. Insult to injury for Jack Hall in the double zero. If you follow him on his YouTube channel, you'll know the trials and tribulations they've been through, and it's an, another unfortunate one for Jack. Being told the next caution will end this race. Next caution will end this race. We either get to the checkers or wreckers. Green is back out. 11 to go or next flag will end it. Rodney Haddock leading on Becca Monopoly. Keep it on that five. Richard Griffiths, he's been fast today if the truck will hold together. 10 laps to go, there it is! Chuck Ayers into the wall hard. Keep it on that five, Richard Griffiths. He's been fast today if the truck will hold together. 10 laps to go, there it is! Chuck Ayers into the wall hard. So back of Monopoly will get the win in truck 51, Rodney Haddock second, Richard Griffiths third, the official finish, potential weather in the area, and now clean up here, we'll see if we can get the Bombers on track. I don't know how the night would have ended, hopefully we still would have been here, but we're not so great. <laughs> I don't know if I could have kept up with her, she was a bit trial. I'm helped by everybody, everybody here at the Monopolies have helped me, Becca, Tom, Reed, and me. I always say, if, if you can't help, you can't find help, it says more about you than it does about the other people. A lot of good people here. And with the lead, Sid. Well, Sid Vicious has got the top spot. Brandon Gaither away with the lead. Three wide farther back as they scramble. CJ Creech from last to about eighth. Holy cow, what a crazy first lap. Got two breakouts, 14. Uh, Brandon Gaither has broken out, 81. Dustin Higdon has broken out. Spin around is Dustin Higdon. Higdon goes around all by himself at the back of the pack. Well, you don't see that very often, but he's been dirt tracking that car all day. Tough break for Charlie today. I want to thank Charlie for throwing up some extra money for the second and third place guys today. Green flag is out. Leader fires, and we're back underway. And Brandon Gaither's right back into the mix. He broke out. The caution saving him. Three wide for the lead all the way to the wall. Brandon turns it down. And look at this battle of the 14s. 71, the meet in the middle. Whoa, Brandon, sideways, gonna burn up that right rear tire. But he hangs onto it, what a race we've got. Close, quarters action, it's still Sid Vicious, Brandon Gaither showing the way in the 14, the red one. Oh, contact with Bruce Gaten and Courtney Breeden. Everybody gathers it back up. 13 laps complete. Well, the 14 and the 81 are right there on the edge of 24 seconds, but they have not stepped over. They are good at the front of the field. Back in line, white flag is out. Brandon Gaither in the 14. Dustin Higdon, 81. Will we see a first time winner's first career race? Everybody good on the timing and scoring sheet this time. Final set of corners. Don't step over the line now. If you break out on this lap, you go to the back of the pack. Here they come to the checkers. Sid Vicious, Brandon Gaither gets the win. Oh boy, hold the phone. Both 14s broke out on the final lap. And that means Dustin Higdon, the breakout king, is gonna break through. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the 81X, Dustin Higdon. I believe second, gonna go to CJ Creech and Courtney Breeden. Tough break for old Sid Vicious. Dustin Higdon wins it. Was it that little tap of the brakes at the end there that saved you on that last lap maybe? This ain't my win. This is Brandon's win, honestly. We'll get it figured out and have better racing. I well, appreciate your patience tonight. Anybody you want to thank? Uh, I got to thank Speedway Video, New Smyrna Speedway for letting us race. And 
all the guys in the Bomber A division for clean racing. I thought it was pretty fun. I got to thank everybody here. I got to thank uh, Jesse. He's not here tonight, and I don't ever remember to thank him. So thank him. I got to thank you to my tire. That's nearly gone. Wait, your, yours looks worse than CJ's. My goodness. It wouldn't have held up for one more lap. Please drive home safe. I know there's weather in the area, possibly severe weather. So please drive home safe. Come back and see us next week for Family Fun Night here at the New Smyrna Speedway. Raining now. We got it in. Speedway video viewers get Prime Video free for one month. Use the link in this video's description to claim yours.